Hey guys, Brick Speedster here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of knockoff horror mini figures. Before we take a look at the oldest killer of the bunch, I just want to say that I got all of these figures off of AliExpress for only a dollar each. Didn't have to pay for shipping or anything. Here we have Leatherface from his original appearance. And the printing, if you can see, is honestly very good. The only uh, thing here is a little bit of discoloration from torso to legs, but it's barely noticeable. And uh, the blood splatters are actually very well printed. And then you have this amazing custom chainsaw mold here. Uh, taking a look at the face, he has some black soulless eyes wearing his classic skin mask. And I think it honestly looks pretty good. Taking a look at our next figure now, we have Mr. Jason Voorhees. Fortunately, with this Jason figure here, uh, the head already came attached, and I believe it's glued on because it will not rotate for me. No leg printings on Jason here, unlike many of the other figures. And the torso printing definitely isn't as strong as the leather face like we saw, but I think it gets the job done well. Back also, not anything super special. But again, Jason's a pretty simple killer, so not really much you can elaborate with on this figure. Next up, we definitely have one of at least my favorite horror movies, if not my favorite killer. But we have Ghostface here. And the figure himself, sp spot on. The fabric printing looks great. I mean, you have all the little, like, folds in it. You have the uh, belt right there that's tied. And the back, again, just more full detailing. But the thing that's super cool about this figure is, again, the all-around 360 printing that you get. Especially for a dollar. I mean, these figures, I definitely exceeded my expectations when I received them. If I'm able to remove the mask here, it gets stuck sometimes. There we go. Uh, you can see the face printing more clearly. Uh, the only thing about this figure, which is that the where the mouth is, kind of gets cut off and wrapped down. So yeah, that's gonna be, that's Ghostface here. Next up, we have Freddy Krueger. The only thing that I don't personally like about this figure is the face printing. It looks a little strange. If I remove the, his fedora hair, you can see that there is some back printing on the head. No leg printing on this guy besides a little bit on the hips right there to continue the his uh, sweater down. If you look, you could actually see that he has two different colored hands, and that's because his one hand has his razor knife glove on there. Then you could see some ripped sleeve right there, and that's supposed to be his skin or his flesh tone color. And again, other over here. The sweater itself is actually really nice with all the black lines, you know, and detailing of make, for making it look like a sweater. Also, the arm printing is rather nice, too. It blends in well. But yeah, honestly, for it being my least favorite, it's still a good figure. And, you know, it's a pleasant figure to have and definitely a classic horror killer. Next up, Michael Myers. Now, this possibly could be my least favorite, but I just love Michael Myers in general. So getting him in a, you know, minifigure form for such a low price, I'm not disappointed because I got what I was expecting. So it's definitely not bad. And again, Michael Myers has that blank expression, which the head does capture in a way. It does look a little goofy. I'm not exactly sure why. It could be like the scale and proportions of like the eyes and the mouth and stuff. No back printing on this figure. A little disappointing. I wish I could have seen some like folds in his uh, like mechanic outfit. If not, you know, just a little bit of clothing detail. Like you could see the white like folds there on the front. Uh, just two pockets, and like the killer himself, just a simple figure. Also, a butcher knife. The hair color, a little tan maybe. Could have been a tiny bit browner, but that you could easily switch that out and uh, have an even more accurate Michael. But in my opinion, a solid Michael Myers figure. It's not too bad. It's, you know, not the best, but yeah, that's Michael Myers. Next up here, we have Jack Torrance from The Shining, and I do have to say I am pleasantly surprised with this figure. 
in my opinion, it's definitely probably, if not second or the most detailed printed figure out of the bunch. I mean, just looking at his outfit here, all of the tiny zippers, buttons, like dual colored shirt underneath with different printing, the printing came out great, let me just say. Uh, the camera might not pick it up as good, but in person, you could see, like, levels of depth on the printing, and you could even see his, like, silver belt buckle there. I mean, that's, that's great. You could probably get that on a Lego minifigure, but we don't see it often. Uh, on the bottom, you could see, like, his boots printed on here all around. Again, 360 printing, which is just, you know, a, a complete bonus that I was not expecting in the slightest from buying these minifigures on the back more uh clothing detailing for his jacket and then he even comes with his axe silver and red uh painted on there the face print also is honestly pretty good i think it represents him and his character rather well and his hair piece is also pretty accurate too so great like definitely one of my favorite figures from the bunch Next, we have Billy the Puppet, and while he's not the killer in the Saul movies, he's definitely a cl classic horror icon, and this is definitely probably the cleanest figure out of the bunch, and it, you know, just a nice black tuxedo with the red highlights on the shoes, uh, buttons, and bow tie, and then even, like, sleeve printing right here, very nice, very nice to see, and then his face looks pretty good it looks like a puppet and it doesn't look very humanoid which you know i'm i'm glad and hoping that it doesn't look humanoid but uh you know not much to talk about here except it's a solid figure especially for that dollar price and last but not least we have a very interesting character here being pyramid head from silent hill the movies and the games this character is a very interesting as a minifigure. His bottom is not legs, but is instead the curved dress piece, which is nice. It's going to be uh, connected there with minifigure uh, uh, leg connections instead of, you know, like the sloped piece, which is used for dresses sometimes. But looking at the dress piece right here, uh, nice printing. You can see some barbed wire, like stitching detail going around him. And then if we remove his head, which is and very interesting uh, mold. It is molded very nicely. Uh, great detailing and bumps. And then take a look at his torso now. You can see uh, he has no shirt on. Has some scratches and a neck piece for his helmet right there. On his arms, some more scratches and cuts like that. And on his back is a continuation of the pyramid helmet coming down onto his back this is definitely the most interesting and unique out of all the figures and i think he looks great that's gonna be all for this video thanks so much for watching and make sure you subscribe for more coming soon